lights. This is what they look like. They've got a connector unit that you can install this first and then you just plug it in and install it into the ceiling itself. As you can see behind me, I'm installing these about uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven LED down lights along this ceiling here. The plasterer has already been in and skimmed the ceiling and just pulled all my cables down. I wouldn't usually do it like this. Normally what I would be doing is I'd cut out the 65 millimeter hole first and then the plaster would, plasterer would come and um, plaster over it. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that this time due to time constraints. So, normally what we would be doing would be using a hole saw and just cutting out the hole saw in the plasterboard and then the plasterer can come through, plaster over it all and then just pull my cables through that way. Unfortunately, I can't do that now and I can't risk using the hole saw um, on, these, on this ceiling now because I could, there's, there's a chance that I could damage the cable. So what I'm going to use instead is a pad saw and at least with that I've got a lot more control of um, where I'm using it and I'm not going to, um, there's no chance that I'm going to damage the cable. Unfortunately it's a much more messy job so I'm going to need to be wearing my um, eye, um, eye protection and it's just going to take me a lot longer. So now what I'm going to do <coughs> is I've marked a string line from the first light down to the, or sorry, from the last light down to the first light. So I've marked a straight line all the way across. You can't see that line. What is marked on each light here with just a little blue mark. And that's also approximately 26 inches away from the edge of the wall. So I've got a dating line to work from. So what I've done, I've pushed this, this, this cable back up into the roof as much as I can. And so now I'm going to use this hole saw cutter and I'm going to place that on top. That's exactly where I want this light to be. So the datum line, this blue mark here, is up to the side of this hole saw. I'm just going to draw round. So as you can see, that is now hole there's a mark on the ceiling. So now I'm going to use my pad saw I'm going to very carefully cut this out. You mustn't forget your eye protection. It's very dusty and so you don't want to stand directly underneath it because if you do you're likely to get dust in your eyes. Always have to be very careful with not touching the outer mechanical protection of the PVC cable. Notice I'm not going all the way through, I'm just using the sort of the initial first two inches or so of the blade. of Celotec insulation directly above it. To install these lights I need a minimum of 50mm. So this 
plasterboard has got one inch Celotec attached to it as well. So this, the half inch or the 13 mil plasterboard added to the 25 inches of Celotec will give me 38 inch, uh, sorry, 38 millimeters. I need to then find another 12 millimeters to install my lights correctly. Now there is more than enough space up there to install the like there's over 50 because there's a bit of a cavity as well. But just to make sure that everything tucks up there nicely, I am just gonna cut out a small area of the Celotec insulation, just so everything just tucks up nicely and nothing is squashed. Well ventilated, the doors and the windows are open. It's not too dusty at all. I now have a hole in the ceiling that my downlight can be installed into. 